right now, again, we talk about obesity. And clearly we know that certain, a certain percentage of body fat has metabolic implications. When an individual is over 30% body fat, we may see elevated levels of insulin, we may see elevated levels, not always, but potentially we see elevated levels of glucose, elevated levels of insulin, elevated levels of triglyceride. The question becomes, how did an individual get to 30% body fat? If we believe the mechanics of glucose disposal, and we believe that when you eat, that you have to get rid of substrates and you have to store them or metabolize them, the primary site for utilization is skeletal muscle. Everything else after skeletal muscle gets its first pass becomes a downstream issue. The other interesting aspect is that we know from aging studies, when individuals lose skeletal muscle, that these changes in blood levels of, again, triglycerides, these are really the hallmark markers of unhealthy skeletal muscle. Not surprising the markers that people point to as issues with obesity. Now, I have, I still see patients in the clinic. You can be a thinner person and not have a ton of body fat and be metabolically unhealthy. And the reason for that, again, isn't the body fat issue. It's the fact that they don't have enough healthy skeletal muscle to store glucose, to burn fatty acids, et cetera. And that's really the framework for thinking about it. The other issue is that we've been measuring body fat. We get a DEXA. A DEXA looks at body fat and bone density. Everything else is extrapolated. We have not been directly looking at skeletal muscle. Can I play devil's advocate for a second? Yes. How can we explain uh, people like world's strongest men who have lots of muscle or power lifters, people who have lots of muscle, but still have lots of fat? I think that that's a, a really good question. And I've thought about it a lot. I would have to see their blood work. There is something to be said for certain phenotypes of bodies that potentially some individuals will never have a leaner frame, but because they are so healthy from an exercise perspective, again, we're talking about power lifters and et cetera. We'd have to actually take a look at their blood work to see, are they able to balance the amount of calories that they're eating and, and what are they actually looking at? It's very hard to say that a power lifter would be a healthier individual.